Hello, I'm Will. This is Mike. We're the Tabletop Donkeys. Hello. And we have for you here today another episode of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. As you can see on your screen, we have issue number 10 this time. And this comes with a Death Guard Myphitic Blight Hauler, which is a vehicle. Our first vehicle, and I'm very excited about it as the one who's been playing the Death Guard in these games. So we'll open up the issue and have a look inside. We've got... here it is, my Fittic Blight Hauler. I have no idea what my Fittic means, but it sounds cool, so why not? And uh, I've got information on what it is. It's a demon-possessed driving tracked thing with a funny mouth and some guns on it. Guns are the interesting bit. As far as I'm concerned, there's pictures of them there. Some more stuff. Then we've got a bit of information on a the raid on Relthor Prime, which is a planet on the edges of the Imperium. A depot world, it says, apparently. Then here it is, how to build the Myphitic Blight Hauler. I didn't do that, of course. Mike did that, so I don't know if you have any opinions on. Um, As you can see, it's got quite a lot of parts to it. Well, and it's still an easy-to-build kit at this stage, so it fairly, snaps together fairly easily. I did have to fill a gap in the back track, I don't know if you can really see it there, where it didn't quite join up properly, but a little bit of green stuff fixed it up. Yeah, so yes, that's a good point. It is a, an easy-to-build kit, technically, in the range, so it doesn't require glue. And then how to paint it. Now, at this point, you'll note, up to this point in the magazine, we've been given one brush, which is this one. We can focus on the tip there, but it's not particularly large. And for comparison, the size of the blight hauler itself is rather big. So at this point, they do expect you to paint this with that brush. I'm guessing you didn't do that. No, because <laughs> I'm, I'm not a masochist. <laughs> no, you would have saved yourself rather a lot of time by using a bigger brush. And then all the details painted in. And now we are on to our first mission, Vehicle on Deck, which is a good description of what's going on. So I'll hand you over to Mike, who's going to talk about that. So here we are with our first mission this week, Vehicle on Deck. The Death Guard have deployed a Myophytic Blight Hauler to the cargo deck of the Blade of Navaris, and our Librarian and three brave intercessors are growling to stop it. Who rules this week are vehicles, funnily enough. You see our profile for the Blight Honey, it's got some pretty powerful weapons with its multi-melter and its frag missile launcher, and it also has its bitey maw for melee attacks. Uh, vehicles work pretty similarly to infantry, they move basically the same way and they can advance in the same way. Uh, but one slight difference is that if they have multiple weapons, they can split their fire between multiple units however they want. Well, you have to declare all your targets before you start shooting there. And in close combat, it's basically the same as infantry. And going over dealing multiple wounds, um, I think it's come up in some of our earlier games, but excess damage doesn't carry over. So if a, a intercessor takes three wounds, then he only has two. The only the extra wound doesn't carry over to other intercessors, that sort of thing. And uh, with things like smite, you have to roll disgustingly resilient for each each point of damage you take. That's sort of thing. So that's pretty much the whole rules overview. Most of it should become apparent as we play. We'll head straight into the game now. So we're rolling off for deployment. Oh, I got a two. Oh, I got a four. Yes, I won deployment. Won deployment for once. Actually, so, I don't want to win deployment. Well, you still get to go first because the death guard gets to go first. True, but I don't want to put this down anyway. Anyway. <laughs> You can see Williams deployed on the far left deployment marker from his perspective. So you can see I've deployed both my units, the intercessors and the librarian, behind this container so that it has some cover from the blight hauler in the first turn. Because uh, they get to go first and there's some scary guns on the blight hauler. So we'll head into Death Guard, turn one. So our objective in this mission is just to kill each other, to clarify. Straight battles to the death as usual for the first missions. Yep. And while it'd be nice to stay out of line of sight, I, in a funny kind of way, I don't want to go first because I can't do anything to you at the moment because you're hidden behind that box. And so all I'm going to do by moving is allowing you to get a smite off before I get to do anything. But I'm not going to be boring and sit behind the box. Blight Hauler has a 10 inch move. It wants to use all of it, but I'm not going to use all of it. I'm just going to come just a little bit this way, like that, so that yeah, I think there. Yeah, so you definitely don't think you can see anyone from there? No, no. No, definitely not. Far too far away to charge, so it's straight into Space Marines, turn one. 
So first things first, the intercessors are going to move up uh, six inches. So Sarge will get to there. And then the librarian will move up behind them. To be in the middle. That's the end of my movement. Uh, the librarian cannot see the blight hauler, so he can't smite it, but he can try and use Might of Heroes in the psychic phase, so he needs a six. So he got it off, so he has plus two attacks. And uh, none of us can see the Blight Hauler, so no shooting. And I'm not going to declare any, declare any charges, so we'll go straight into Death Guard, turn two. So, I've got some targets now. Blight Hauler is going to come around this way again. Just poke itself out like that. It's worth noting that for big models like this, line of sight is taken from any point on the model, so even though the missile launcher is behind the box, you can still shoot at them because part of the model can see them. So, we've moved like that, and then we're going to fire all of its guns at the intercessors. So we're going to start with the multi-mounter. Shooting at the intercessors. Yeah, now the Blight Hauler hits on fours, not threes. And it oh, misses. That's lucky, that's a very powerful weapon. Didn't yeah. get hit by that. And then the missile launcher gets D6 shots for four. Hitting on fours. Two hits. And it's wounding on fives. I don't know why it's wounding on fives. It's a frag missile launcher, which is supposed to be strength four, but it says fives. Oh, well, there you go. Well, yeah, stop whinging, you've got two wounds. <laughs> so two three plus armor saves for the intercessors. No, Made both of them. And I'm not going to declare any charges, so that's it. Oh, well, we, my turn. With the storm, as we head into Space Marines, turn two. So it's time for some aggression, I think. We're going to move up, so we'll just just be beyond that box, I think. Yeah. And the librarian will move up behind them. So onto the psychic phase. The librarian can see your blight hauler, and he shall smite it. Not with that. He did a five. And he'll try my heroes on himself. And he got that off at least with a six. And then it's on to the shooting phase. The man in front will throw something the intercessors. The man in front will throw a frag grenade because he is within range. And the other two will fire their bolt rifles. So I'll start with the bolt rifles. We've got four shots hitting on threes. And we're off to a good start with one hit. And a wounding on a five. Not a wound. And the frag grenade has T6 shots. Ooh, six. Hitting on threes. Blimey. Two hits. And wounding on fives again. No wounds. And the librarian is not within six inches, so he won't throw a frag grenade. He'll shoot with his pistol. Hitting on three, and he missed. Nobody can hit anyone this game. No. Nope. So now we're on to the charge phase. The intercessors are going to declare a charge. That means we get Overwatch. So we're going to start with the multi mounter. It hits on a six. Nope. D6 shots from the frag missile. Six. Oh, hitting on sixes. Hitting on sixes. There's, There's one, one there. Hitting on five. five. No. Didn't we? So, intercessors roll seven. That's plenty. Definitely enough can to get in. Get all the way over there into the corner if you want. Well, we've charged. We've left a gap here for the librarian to get in. And then the librarian is going to declare a charge. No overwatch because it's in melee. Now oh, with an 11, he might might be able to get all the way around the box with that. And he's just... Yeah, keep that guy on the board edge. And just going to be within an inch. He is within an inch. So I get to pick who goes first. I'll start with the intercessors because they're less important. They have six attacks hitting on threes. Yeah. Well, they're much better at punching than they are at shooting. Five hits, wounding on fives. Oh, blimey. Oh, four wounds, wow. So I get a three plus armor save. I failed two of them. And then a five plus resilient. Yep, like all the Death Guard. I failed both of those. So the Blight Hauler is down to six wounds. And then the Librarian is going to go. He has six attacks from his Might of Heroes. And he on threes. Four hits, and he's average. And wounding on fives. One wound, one six plus armor save. Yep, thanks to his force sword. Nope. And one resilient. Yes. And he's made that. So he's still on six wounds. So now the Blight Hauler gets to fight back with its gnashing maw. It gets three attacks, hitting on fours. And is it going to attack? Yeah, sorry, I'll put that on the librarian, I suppose, because okay. not going to do anything much to him otherwise. So it's one hit on the librarian. And he wounds on a three. It does. Five plus armor save against the gnashing maw. Ah. Roll a six. So he's fine. And that's end of round two, head into Death Guard, turn three. So, Blight Hauler has a choice. It can either stay in melee and be hit by 
a nasty force sword or it can run away, so it's going to run away. Uh, get it to, it can move pretty far though. To over there, so it's possible you might not quite make your charge. Unlikely though. Mm. So yeah, it fell back, so no shooting. And uh, obviously it can't charge, so straight into Space Marines, turn three. First thing, the intercessors are going to move up. So we're staring it in the red of its eye. Then the librarian is actually going to move round his box. Mm-hmm. Gonna gonna come at you from two angles. So he'll end up about there. And now we're on to the psychic phase. So the librarian is first gonna start with smite. Trying to smite your blight hauler. Not with a four he can't. And he'll try might of heroes on himself. And he can't get that either with a four. So yeah. <laughs> So we'll head straight to the shooting phase. Start with the intercessors. We'll have do the same thing as last time. Two bolt rifles hitting on threes. Ooh, one better than last time. Wounded on fives, no wounds. And a frag grenade. Five shots hitting on threes. Three hits. Wounded on fives. Ooh, one wound. Three plus armor save. Made it. And he's fine. And the librarian has his bolt pistol. Well, he could throw a frag grenade. Oh, yeah, actually, he will throw a frag grenade, so I'll re roll that. <laughs> no. Should have kept six. Yeah. And he missed. Yeah, should have kept that six for his bolt pistol. <laughs> See, it was all part of my cunning plan. Oh, yeah. I knew no, you'd do that. No, I, you worship the wrong god. <laughs> you should worship Zinch. <laughs> Just as planned. Anyway, on to the charge phase. The intercessors will declare a charge first. So you've got Overwatch. Multi matter. Oh, miss. missed. Roll five again. Miss on launcher five times. Hitting on sixes. Got a hit. Got one. Wounding on five. Got a wound. Three plus armor save. No. Ah. The man at the back, the back takes a wound. And then they charge. Big roll. Six inches. They're definitely in. Gonna see how well I can trap you in the corner. You can see the results of the intercessors charge. They're going to try and get round the back of the blight hauler, and then the librarian is going to declare a charge as well. Uh, he's definitely in with an eight. So would you slam him in, please? Mm, crash. So once again, both my units charge. So I get to pick a ghost first. I'm going to pick the intercessors first, and they'll pile in to trap it, basically, so you can't fall back. And then they've got their six attacks hitting on threes. Again, they're much better at punching than they are at shooting. They should have been Reavers. Oh, no wounds. And the Librarian with his four attacks hitting on threes. There's two hits. Wounds on fives. No wounds either. Now the Blight Hauler gets to hit back. Three attacks hitting on fours. Oh, they will hit. Oh, they're going on the intercessors this time, by right. the way. Um, see if I can take out that wounded guy. So we've got three wounds, sorry, three hits and three wounds. Oh, three five plus armor saves. Aha! Uh, so one intercessor will die and another one is down to one wound. Yeah. But it's still not a big enough gap for you to escape. Not quite. And that's the end of round three. So we head into Death Guard turn four. So it's going to be straight to the fight phase. The Blight Hauler gets to go first. Yeah, can't fall back because there's no room physically for it to move. We've got one hit this time, so the intercessors again. Yeah. Okay. Wounded. That's a wound. <laughs> Five plus on the save. No, no another sorry. intercessor goes down. Now there is a gap now. What? I get to hit back. Do the intercessor sergeant first. Get some revenge for his mates. He got a hit. He didn't wound. And the librarian. Four attacks hitting on threes. Two hits. Wounded on fives. Double one. So completely ineffectual hitting back. And we head into Space Marines, turn four. No movement, so I'm not going to fall back. So straight to the psychic phase, I'll try and smite it. He actually got one off this turn, so there's a D3 mortal wounds, two mortal wounds. Get to ignore them on fives. No. no. Two more wounds off the Blight Hauler. And then the Librarian will try and do Might of Heroes on himself. Got it with a seven, so he plus two attacks this round as well. Onto the shooting phase, we've got two pistols. I'll do them both the same, because they are both the same. Ooh, two hits. Roll those again. Ooh, one wound. On a save. Made it. He's fine. And I get to pick who fights first, so I'll pick the... I'll pick the librarian, because the intercessor sergeant is a bit... Probably going to die, but whatever. So six attacks hitting on threes. 
He's got four hits. And wounding on fives. One wound. One six plus armor save. Oh. Yeah, and he made it. So you get to fight back. I'm going to bite the librarian this time. Oh. Uh, one, one hit. hit. Wounds on three. It doesn't. No. Oh. And then the intercessor sergeant gets to fight back with his two attacks. He got one hit. Come on, Sarge. Prove me wrong. He got a wound. <laughs> oh no! He's he got a wound. Uh, disgustingly resilient. No. Yeah, so there you have it. A man with his fists is much better in melee than a man with a four sword. And that's the end for Space Marines turn four. We're heading to Death Guard turn five. So for movement phase, this gap. If I'm very careful, I can slide this out without moving either of those two models, which means I can legally fall back. <laughs> and it's going to come over here. put the comedy pop in. And it gets to about there with ten inches. And it has three wounds left. left. And it has three wounds left. So, yeah, the Light Hauler fell back. Um, can't shoot or charge because it fell back, so straight onto Space Marines turn five. Even though the Light Hauler bravely ran away, it did conveniently leave this box in between, so the Intercessor Sergeant will bravely hide behind the box and then the Librarian will move to about there. So onto the Psychic Phase, the Librarian will try to smite the Blight Hauler, all just with a five. D3 mortal wounds, just one. To ignore it on five, no. Nope. Down to two wounds. And then the Librarian will try and do Might of Heroes on himself. He definitely got it with a ten. The Intercessor Sergeant cannot see over the boxes, because they're very tall. The Librarian, however, can, and he'll throw a frag grenade. Ooh, two potential hits this time. They both hit. One wound. Ignoring that on five. Three. Yes. Oh yeah, armor save. Yeah, three plus armor save. Made my armor save. Yeah. Shooting ineffectual. On to the charge phase, the Sergeant will declare a charge. And no overwatch, because the Blight Waller cannot see him. Uh, he's definitely in with a six. Yeah, yeah I can yeah. try and force you against the box. So the sergeant will go round. Then the librarian will also charge. <laughs> what a waste of a twelve. Bam. So both my units charge, so they both get to fight first. I'll go with the sergeant first, and he will pile in. So I think you can't escape this way. Should pile in like that. And he's got two attacks hitting on threes. One hit. Are you on a five? Nope. And the Librarian is going to pile in a little bit that way. So you can't really move past that box anymore. He has six attacks. Here's he on threes. Four hits. Where'd he on fives? Three wounds. Three six plus armor saves. No. Nope. Three resilience. And I made one, but he only had two wounds left, so the Blight Hauler goes down. And victory for the Space Marines. So that's the end of the first mission for this issue. We'll head into the second one now. So here we are on our second mission for this issue, Smite the Blight Hauler. Well, the clue's in the name for what I'm going to be doing this mission. So it's basically the same mission again. Uh, one slight difference is I have three Reavers instead of three Intercessors. And now we have actual objectives, so the Death Guard win if they can eliminate the Librarian. And of course I win if I kill the one model they have. There's no turn limit, but we've agreed if there's never, it doesn't specify a turn limit, we're just going to play up to six. And uh, I guess we have, which whoever's closest to victory wins, I guess. And for our extra rules this week, the uh, Blight Hauler has gained another shooting attack. It can spit bile at things, so it gets D3 ranged attacks. Uh, hitting on fours, winning on threes, with a four plus armor save. So it's <laughs> even more overwatch for me to run through. But luckily, the Librarian's Four Sword now does a D3 damage on a successful wound. And Smite now does D6 mortal wounds if I roll 11 or a 12 for its for his Psyche test. Although of course a 12 is a Perils of the Warp, so he will take wounds as well. So this mission actually specifies that the Bite Hauler is deployed on the center deployment marker there, so we're not going to bother rolling off for deployment, because William wouldn't be able to react to my deployment if I want it. So you're just going to head straight to my deployment. It's going to be pretty much the same as last time. So there's my finished deployment. We're carrying behind the box. 
Once again, the Death Guard get to go first, so we're heading to Death Guard turn one. So it's going to be a very exciting movement phase from the Death Guard. I can't possibly move to see anybody, so I'm just going to slide behind that box. <laughs> so it's Death Guard turn one, because there uh, are no shooting and no charging and no fighting, so it's drawn to Space Marines turn one. It looks like I'm not going to be able to possibly be able to see through movement, so I'm going to advance. Uh, first Reavers are going to advance. Ooh, six, so they get to move 12 inches. So there you can see the intercessors have advanced about halfway up the board. Now the librarian is going to advance as well. Reavers. <laughs> Sorry, the Reavers, yeah. The librarian is going to advance four inches. So you can move ten. And that should put him behind the Reavers. Yeah. Like that. So onto the psychic phase, because you can still eat psychic even while you're sprinting. You can't see the bio hauler, so he's just going to try and do Might of Heroes on himself. Just in case. And he got it off with a nine. So plus two attacks for him. I uh, can't charge because I advanced. So straight on to Death Guard turn two. No matter where I move around here, I'm never going to be able to get anywhere that isn't going to give him a nice short charge and a chance to trap me in a corner. So I think I'm just going to try and seize the initiative a bit. And we're going to come around here nice and close to those Reavers. So on to the shooting phase. So we're going to start with the multi-melter. Shooting at the Reavers, obviously. Uh, it's missed. Then, we've gonna, then we're going to do the... Missile launcher. It gets six Oof. shots, hitting all fours. Ooh, three hits. Three. Average. Wounding all fives. None mm, of those. None. And then we've got the new bile spurt, which is D3 shots for one. Hitting on a four. Hitting on a four. Hit. Wounding on a. Wounds on a three plus. On three. It doesn't. Then we're going to declare a charge against the Reavers. Oh, they get to Overwatch. They do. They got their three pistols hitting on sixes. There's a hit. We're on a five. Oh, Ooh, yes. Oh. Oh, dear. <laughs> and disgustingly resilient. No. no so, right in the eyepiece. So it actually takes a wound on Overwatch. Down to seven wounds. Then we're going to make a charge. We can't fail this, and I'm not going to do anything other than come in like that. Yep. So you charge to get to five first. Make the three attacks, hitting on fours. And only one again. Wound on three. Wounds. 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 Five plus armor save. And yeah, made it. So now the Reavers get to fight back, so they get to pile in. Or he's in base contact, but the other two get to pile in. So they've got their six attack uh, no, three attacks each, and so nine attacks. Nine attacks hit on threes. And a lot of misses. Five hits. Wounding on fives. Two wounds. On the save. Yes, fine. So that's the end of Death Guard. Turn two, and actually the yeah the librarian would be too far away to heroically intervene. Would have been. Mm, and he could have done, but he wouldn't have been able yeah. to move physically because yeah the reavers, reavers were in the way. way. So so yeah, on to Space Marines turn two. So the librarian's going to end up there at the end of the movement phase. Then on to the psychic phase. We'll try and smite your white holler. Oh, an eleven. We get to see how D6 this works. Six mortal wounds. No. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the, the potential was there, and I've ignored and it. And he ignored it. Mm. And then he'll try my fears on himself, and he got it with a six. Uh, shooting phase. We got three pistols from the Reavers, hitting on threes. Moody on fives. Oh, two wounds. Mm, Found one on the safe. Mm, that's another wound. Yeah. It's taken two wounds from pistol fire so far. And then the librarian will declare a charge. Oh, he's in with a four. That's enough. So he's in. Uh, he charged, so he gets to go first. He has six attacks. Hitting on threes. Average four. Only on fives. One wound. On six plus armor save. Nope. D3 damage. Two. Disgustingly resilient twice. Nope, failed both of them. Two more wounds on the Blight Hauler. Down to four. Reavers have nine attacks hitting on threes. Five hits again. Wound on fives. Three wounds. Arm saves. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh dear. Well, it can't kill it. Uh, but it's yeah, another two, two wounds. wounds. Down to two. Hmm. Didn't go so well, that. Yes. Uh, we'll head into Death Guard turn three. So that didn't go so well. Um, but we're going to fall back. I just hope we've got some Overwatch is useful. I'm going to go this way this time. Because I go here then. I think I'll always be able to overwatch you wherever I am. Yeah, you should be able to see either side. 
Uh, that's actually quite a bit more than 10 inches. Mm. We'll stay a bit closer. There we are. So, once again, the block hauler fell back, so no shooting, no charging. On to Space Marines turn three. So, the Reavers are going to move up. And then the Librarian is also going to move up. Pincer attack like last time. And on to the Psychic phase. The Librarian will try to smite your Blight Hauler. He's got a seven, so it's a successful, but it's just low power, just one wound. Oh, and he's ignored it. <laughs> totally useless at smiting this game. And he failed to get Might of Heroes off as well. So, straight to the shooting phase. Uh, one of the Reavers will throw a frag grenade and the other two will fire their pistols. Uh, pistol shots, one hit. Wound on a five, there's a hit. <laughs> <laughs> pistols are really good at taking out vehicles. So it seems. Down, down to one. To one. <laughs> and the frag grenade. Oh, almost a six. Three potential hits. Goes down to one hit. But it's a wound. Oh, oh phew. Phew. I thought it was going to be taken out by a frag grenade. <laughs> but it still might, because the librarian's going to throw one as well. Three potential hits. Turns into three hits. No wounds, so we're going to have to charge it. The Reavers are going to declare a charge. We get Overwatch first, we'll start with the multi melter. Nope. The missile launcher. Four shots. Getting on sixes. Six and two hits. Two hits. Wounding on fives. The bile spurt. Two shots. No hits. <laughs> so yeah, Overwatch is ineffectual. Reavers have to roll higher than a two. Yeah, roll a five. So we have to get around you a bit. And then the librarian's also going to declare a charge. Uh, with a four, li so the librarian will end up there. If both my units charge, so I get to pick first. Reavers going to go first and they'll pile in around to trap you in. We've got nine attacks hitting on threes. Still not getting any three hits I think. Wounding on fives. No wounds. And then the librarian will pile in and he's got four attacks hitting on threes. And two hits wounding on fives. One wound. Six plus armor save. Yes. Oh the dice god smile on him. So he gets to hit back. He's got his three attacks. They're going to hit the librarian, and then no, they've all missed. <laughs> so that's Space Marines turn three, on to Death Guard turn four. So William's decided he's just going to try and bite the librarian to death. Can't get out, so two hits on the librarian. This is in melee, of course. Wound on ah, threes. No, no wounds. Uh, so I get to hit back, do the Reavers first. Nine attacks hitting on threes, five hits. No wounds, and the Librarian has his four attacks hitting on threes. Two hits again. One wound. One wound. No Found his armor save, so D3 damage. Two. Need to make both of these? No. No. So the Bright Hauler goes down. Once again. So yeah, that's it for mission two of issue ten, and we'll have a quick recap. See you in a second. So those were the missions for issue 10 of Warhammer 40,000 Conquest. Uh, how did you think those go went? Well, the Blight Hauler potentially is a very powerful model. However, if you roll like I did, it isn't. Um, I think all it did in that mission was it, well, it ate a couple of intercessors towards the end of the first mission. Uh, yeah, I don't think you hit with the multi-melter at all. You did very well with the missile launcher. At least look at a lot of shots with it. Yeah, I think I rolled six yeah. shots with it at least twice. But So, I mean, that multi melter if it hits, which it didn't at all this mission, can potentially do six damage to somebody with no armor save, um, so it can just melt a space marine. But again, if you fail all your 50-50 chances to hit, then that doesn't happen. Yeah, and I think, I think the small size of the board really works against it. Oh, yes, absolutely. Um, I kind are... of worked out that however you moved and I moved, I could probably get one round of shooting before you got to make a charge attempt. And, OK, you could roll badly on the charge, but more likely you'll be able to do that. And because it's got a huge base, it's quite easy to trap in a corner as well, so it can't fall back. Yeah, and it can't fit through several... There are several routes through the map that you it cannot fit through. Yes, it's not quite suitable for this. 
It can't really make it to make use its speed to its advantage either. No, not really. It can't run away from people so much. And even falling back, well, it, it can get a little bit away. But if you're a double one for your charge, <laughs> yeah, it's okay, and you get a bit of Overwatch. But that's pretty much. We played this mission before, not on camera, and pretty much the same thing happened. Uh, the Blight Hauler. If you trap it in melee, then that's largely game over. It it can eat people in melee, but really the number of attacks the space Marines get and the librarian with his force sword and smite can just wear it down eventually. Um, it doesn't really have enough attacks to it's tough in melee but it doesn't really have enough attacks and doesn't do enough damage to it's not really a threat once it's in melee yeah and it three, just takes a long time to kill it three attacks hitting on fours can be effective but more often than not it maybe takes a wound off somebody and it, it's not enough it really it's more of a you want it behind something as a support unit so it can fire off missiles and use its guns to maximum effectiveness Exactly, it has a lot of range firepower, and when we get onto the slightly larger map, spoilers, in um, mm. issue 21, um, it can zoom around a bit more, take objectives and things like that, but again, it's still vulnerable to being trapped in melee. Of course, in the proper rules, which we'll get for it in maybe five or six issues' time, I'm not exactly Actually, sure, yeah. issue Eventually. 17 or something like that, What it has an effect where nearby Death Guard units count as being in cover. It gives them a sort of moving bubble of cover, which is really its primary purpose, I think, to be honest, is to give buffs to the Death Guard units around it. So. It also has an aura that um, enemies have minus one to hit it in melee, doesn't it? Because it smells really bad. Yeah, that's right. So, again, another rule that it doesn't have at the moment, which... It's not an out-and-out -out damage unit, even though it does have some relatively powerful weapons. It's It has a number of roles, but fighting powerful Psyker and three guys on foot on a small board is not something it's really built for. Yeah, and it is almost surprising how good the Librarian actually is against it. Yeah, I mean, even if he whiffs his smite rolls a few times, but still. Yeah, because smite goes straight through its mm, um, straight it's... to resilient rolls. Even though he needs fives to wound on melee with six attacks, wounding on fives, the fact he has a force sword, especially once he gets the D3 damage. Yeah. Uh, all of that said, in the second mission, I did try and be aggressive with it, try and fire and then charge the Reavers. I was hoping to take at least one out with shooting and then charge in and maybe eat another one. And But um, it failed to do any of those things. So. Sometimes the dice don't go your way. No, sometimes they don't. Well, I think that's, there's not much more to say. So that's been issue 10 of Warmer 3000 Conquest. We have some more coming in the future. So if you like this content, please like, subscribe and comment. We've been the Tabletop Donkeys and we'll see you in the next one.